Definitely is nothing to be, you know, to be bragging about. So Frank really does have this in the bag. They've been getting uh, to know each other really well over the past few years. We're just hoping that's going to continue, and they'll sort of get to know each other better. And we'll hear the little patter of tiny penguin feet very, very soon. Um, now we'll just end up this little bit of a talk with some general penguin facts. And if any of you guys have any questions, feel free to have a little bit of a chat with me. Um, but I like to say about the some similarities and some differences between the two species. Now all penguin species, they have the same camouflage. The camouflage that they have is called counter shading, and this is where they've got the light tummies and the dark backs. And if a predator is swimming underneath them and they look up, then the light tummy blends into the light sky above them. And if the predator is swimming above them, then they look down and the dark penguin back blends into the dark depths of the sea below. So it works really well for them in water. They are definitely made for the water. Um, the Humboldt penguins, they're really made for speed. So they're catching these tiny fish. So they need to travel really, really fast to be able to do that. They can travel about 20 miles an hour in the water, which is really, really impressive for something so small. And one of the ways that they do this is through porpoising. So that's where they launch themselves out of the water, reducing the drag on their body, meaning they can really hit these top speeds. Whereas the king penguins, their food is mainly down really deep. So today they've got herring, but in the wild they'd be eating things such as squid. So they need to dive really deep to find this food. Um, so they can dive as deep as the Eiffel Tower is tall, and they can hold their breath for about eight minutes, which is really impressive when you, you know, in comparison to the Humboldt sort of like three minutes. Unfortunately, uh, emperor penguins really do win that race because they can hold their breath for about 30 minutes. So that really does show you how, you know, how well these guys are adapted to the water. Now, if any of you have any questions, feel free to pop your hands up. I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. Feel free to come over and have a little chat with me as well. If not, feel free to stick around for the rest of the feed. Thank you all very much for listening, and I hope you all have a lovely day.